The first step toward getting somewhere is to decide that you're not going to stay where you are. If you want to change your dreams, you must first change yourself and to change yourself. You must do something, anything, because action is the bridge between the life you have and the life you want. So let me ask you, my friend, what are you willing to do to make your dreams a reality? The story of the farmer and the unplanted seed. There was once a farmer who owned a vast field, fertile and ripe for planting. Year after year, he would tell his neighbors about the magnificent crops he would one day grow, the bountiful harvest that was sure to come. He would dream about it, visualize it, even plan how he would spend the profits from his future harvest. But there was one thing he never did. He never planted a single seed. The field remained barren, season after season, until one day his neighbor asked him, why haven't you planted anything yet? You speak of the harvest, but you've done nothing to bring it to life, the farmer replied. I'm waiting for the perfect moment, the right conditions. I don't want to waste my effort on an uncertain outcome. The neighbor, wise and seasoned, simply shook his head and said, if you wait for everything to be perfect, you'll wait forever. Start now and let the harvest take care of itself. The farmer finally understood he began to plant his seeds that very day, and though the conditions were not perfect, his efforts bore fruit in the seasons to come. Now, what can we learn from this story? It's simple dreams without action are like seeds without soil. They remain potential, unfulfilled. Too often we wait for the perfect moment, the perfect conditions to begin working on our dreams. But here's the truth. The perfect moment doesn't exist. If you want to change your dreams, you must do something. Even if it's imperfect, even if it's small, do something. The power of taking the first step. Let me share a personal story with you. Years ago, when I was just starting out in my career, I had big dreams. I wanted to become a speaker, a mentor, someone who could inspire and uplift others. But back then I was far from that. I was working a regular job with regular pay and a regular life. My dreams felt so distant, so out of reach. One day I attended a seminar and the speaker said something that changed my life. He said, if you want to change your life, you have to change what you do daily. Success is not a big step in the future, it's a small step taken right now. That hit me like a ton of bricks. I realized that I had been waiting for the right time, the right opportunity, but what I needed to do was take action no matter how small. So I started writing down my ideas, practicing my speeches in front of a mirror, volunteering to speak at local events. It wasn't glamorous and it wasn't easy, but it was something, and that something was the spark that ignited everything that followed. What I learned is this dreams are not achieved in a day, but they are achieved daily. Every small action you take, every step you make is a brick in the foundation of your future. But you have to be willing to take that first step. You have to be willing to do something. The power of daily discipline. Now let's talk about discipline because doing something once isn't enough. If you want to change your dreams, you have to do something consistently. Discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishment. It's not what you do once in a while that shapes your life but what you do consistently. Think about it. Every successful person you admire, every great achievement you've ever seen was built on a foundation of daily discipline. It's the small, seemingly insignificant actions repeated over time that lead to extraordinary results. But discipline doesn't just happen, it's something you cultivate like a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it gets. Consider the story of two painters. Both were equally talented both had dreams of becoming renowned artists. The first painter, however, would only work when inspiration struck. He would wait for the perfect moment, the perfect idea, and then he would paint with passion. But these moments were few and far between, and so his work remained sparse. The second painter, on the other hand, made a habit of painting every single day. Even when he didn't feel like it, even when the inspiration wasn't there, he would pick up his brush and start working. Day after day, week after week, he painted. Over time, his skills improved, his ideas flourished, and his portfolio grew. And eventually he achieved the recognition and success he had always dreamed of. The difference? Discipline. The first painter had the talent, but he lacked the discipline to bring his dreams to life. The second painter may have started with less inspiration, but his consistent effort paid off in the long run. So what's the lesson here? If you want to change your dreams, you have to do something and you have to do it consistently. Discipline yourself to take action every day, even when you don't feel like it, even when it's hard, because over time, those small actions will add up to something great. The role of persistence. Now let's talk about persistence because doing something even consistently doesn't always yield immediate results. 
Sometimes you have to be patient and persistent even when you can't see the progress. Have you ever heard the story of the Chinese bamboo tree? It's a remarkable example of persistence in action. When you plant a bamboo seed, you water it and nurture it, but nothing happens. Not for a year, not for two years, not for three, four, or even five years. During that time, it seems like nothing is happening. But then in the fifth year, something amazing occurs. The bamboo tree suddenly sprouts and in a matter of weeks, it grows up to 90 feet tall. Now, did the tree grow 90 feet in just a few weeks? No, it was growing all along beneath the surface, building a strong root system that would support its massive height. It's a powerful reminder that just because you don't see immediate results doesn't mean nothing is happening. Your efforts, your actions, your persistence, they're all building the foundation for your dreams. But you have to keep going, even when it seems like nothing is changing. So if you're working toward your dreams and you feel like you're not getting anywhere, remember the bamboo tree, stay persistent, keep doing something, keep moving forward, even when the results are invisible, because one day your efforts will break through and you'll see the fruits of your labor in ways you never imagined. The power of belief in action. Finally, let's talk about the power of belief because all the action and persistence in the world won't matter if you don't believe in your dreams. Belief is the fuel that drives action. It's what keeps you going when the going gets tough, what pushes you forward when others give up. But belief alone isn't enough, you have to pair it with action. It's not enough to believe that you can achieve your dreams, you must also act as if it's already happening. This is where the magic happens when belief and action come together, you become unstoppable. A time when belief made the difference. There was a time when I was at a crossroads in my life, I had the vision, the dreams, but I was struggling to take action, I was held back by doubt, by fear of failure. But then I made a decision. I decided to believe in myself, in my dreams, and in my ability to make them happen. And with that belief, I started to take action small steps at first, but they quickly gained momentum. And as I acted, my belief grew stronger, creating a powerful cycle of action and belief. The importance of adaptability. As you move toward your dreams, one thing is certain things won't always go as planned. Life has a way of throwing curveballs, and if you're not adaptable, those curveballs can knock you off course. That's why adaptability is crucial. It's not just about doing something. It's about being willing to change your approach when necessary. The entrepreneur who changed course. Consider the story of an entrepreneur who had a vision for a new product. He poured his heart, soul, and savings into creating it. But when he finally launched it, the market response was lukewarm. Most people would have given up at that point, but not him. Instead of sticking stubbornly to his original plan, he listened to the feedback adapted his product and pivoted his business model. Over time, his adaptability paid off and his business grew beyond what he ever imagined. The lesson here, sometimes your dreams require you to change course. Adaptability doesn't mean abandoning your dreams. It means being flexible in how you achieve them. The key is to keep moving forward, even if that means taking a different path. So as you pursue your dreams, be open to change. Don't be afraid to adapt, to pivot, to, to pivot, to try something new because it's not the strongest or the most intelligent who succeed, but those who can adapt to change. The power of setting goals. Dreams can be powerful, but without clear goals, they can remain just that dreams. Goals are what turn dreams into actionable plans. They provide direction, focus, and a roadmap to success. If you want to change your dreams, start by setting specific, measurable, and achievable goals. There was once an athlete who dreamed of competing in the Olympics. His dream was ambitious, but he knew that dreaming alone wouldn't get him there. So he set specific goals for his training, how many hours he would train each day, what milestones he would achieve each month, and what his performance targets would be. With each goal he accomplished, his confidence grew and he inched closer to his dream. Eventually, his discipline goal setting paid off and he earned his place on the Olympic team. Set your own goals. Now think about your dreams. What goals can you set today to bring them closer to reality? Remember, it's not enough to dream, you need a plan. And that plan begins with setting clear, actionable goals. The role of mentorship and guidance. No one achieves their dreams alone. Along the journey, you'll need guidance, support, and wisdom from those who have walked the path before you. This is where mentorship comes in. A mentor can provide you with invaluable insights, help you avoid common pitfalls, and inspire you to reach heights you never thought possible. The apprentice and the master craftsman. Consider the story of an apprentice who dreamed of becoming a master craftsman. He had talent, ambition, and a strong work ethic, but he lacked experience. 
so he sought out a master craftsman to mentor him. Under the master's guidance, the apprentice learned the trade secrets, refined his skills, and developed the confidence to pursue his dreams. In time, he became a master craftsman himself, surpassing even his mentor's achievements. Who are the mentors in your life? If you don't have one, seek out someone who has achieved what you aspire to achieve. Learn from them, grow with their guidance, and let their wisdom be a catalyst for your dreams. The impact of surrounding yourself with the right people. The people you surround yourself with have a profound impact on your dreams. They can either lift you up or hold you back. If you want to change your dreams, you need to surround yourself with people who believe in you, who challenge you, and who inspire you to become your best self. The group of friends who lifted each other up, there was once a group of friends who shared similar dreams. They wanted to start a business together, but each had their own fears and doubts. However, instead of letting those doubts take over, they supported each other. They encouraged each other through the tough times, celebrated the small wins, and held each other accountable to their goals. Over time, their collective energy and support led to the success of their business and the realization of their dreams. Take a look at the people in your life. Are they helping you move toward your dreams or are they holding you back? If it's the latter, it may be time to make some changes. Surround yourself with those who inspire you, who believe in your potential, and who push you to be better every day. You must take responsibility for your dreams. At the end of the day, there's one final truth. You must accept your dreams are your responsibility. No one else can make them happen for you. It's up to you to do something, to take action, to persist, to adapt, to believe, and to keep moving forward no matter what the young dreamer who took control. There was once a young dreamer who constantly blamed others for his lack of progress. He would say, if only I had more support, more resources, more time, I could achieve my dreams. But one day he realized that waiting for others to help him was a dead end. He decided to take full responsibility for his dreams. He stopped making excuses and started making progress. And with that shift in mindset, his life began to change. He became the architect of his own destiny and his dreams became a reality. So here's the final question. Are you ready to take responsibility for your dreams? Are you ready to do something today that your future self will thank you for? Because at the end of the day, it's up to you. No one else can walk this path for you. But if you're willing to take action, to be disciplined, adaptable, persistent, and to surround yourself with the right people, there's nothing you can't achieve. Take action today, write down your goals, seek out a mentor, surround yourself with positivity, and most importantly, do something because your dreams are waiting for you to make them a reality. And remember, the journey to your dreams begins with a single step. So what will you do today to take that step? Let's talk about something most people shy away from failure. But here's the truth, failure is not the end of the road, it's merely a detour on the path to success. Every single person who has ever achieved greatness has encountered failure often more than once. They didn't let it stop them. They learned from their mistakes, grew stronger, and used those experiences as stepping stones to reach higher ground. Think about Thomas Edison. When he was working on inventing the electric light bulb, he failed thousands of times. But when asked about it, he famously said, I have not failed, I've just found 10. Zero, zero, zero ways that won't work, Edison understood that failure is not something to be feared or avoided. Instead, it's something to be embraced, analyzed, and used as fuel for the next attempt. In your journey toward your dreams, you will face setbacks. It's inevitable. But how you respond to those setbacks is what will define your success. Will you let failure defeat you, or will you see it as an opportunity to learn, adapt, and come back stronger? Remember, failure is only final if you give up. If you keep going, failure transforms into a powerful lesson guiding you closer to your goals. The importance of self-reflection. As you pursue your dreams, it's easy to get caught up in the hustle and bustle, always focusing on the next goal, the next milestone. But there's a crucial practice that often gets overlooked, self-reflection. Taking time to step back, evaluate your progress, and understand where you're headed can make all the difference in your journey. Self-reflection is like holding up a mirror to your actions, decisions, and behaviors. It allows you to assess what's working and what's not, to identify your strengths and weaknesses, and to make informed adjustments to your approach. Without self-reflection, you risk repeating the same mistakes, overlooking opportunities for growth, and losing sight of your true objectives. Imagine a ship sailing across the ocean. If the captain never checks the compass, never recalibrates the course, the ship could end up far off track. The same is true for your dreams. Regular self-reflection keeps you aligned with your goals, helps you stay true to your vision. 
and ensures that you're making progress in the right direction. Set aside time regularly, whether it's daily, weekly, or monthly to reflect on your journey. Ask yourself, what have I accomplished? What challenges have I faced? What can I do better? Use these insights to refine your strategies, reinforce your strengths, and address your weaknesses. Remember, self-reflection is not just about looking back, it's about using the past to guide your future, cultivating a growth mindset. Now let's explore a concept that's at the heart of all personal development, a growth mindset. A growth mindset is the belief that your abilities, intelligence, and talents are not fixed traits, but can be developed through effort, learning, and persistence. This mindset is what separates those who merely dream from those who achieve their dreams. When you have a growth mindset, you see challenges as opportunities, not obstacles. You understand that every failure is a lesson, every setback is a chance to grow. Instead of avoiding difficulties, you embrace them, knowing that each one is a stepping stone on the path to mastery. Think about someone like Michael Jordan, widely regarded as one of the greatest basketball players of all time. But did you know that he was cut from his high school basketball team? Instead of letting that defeat crush him, he used it as motivation to work harder, to train longer, and to become better. He didn't see his initial failure as a reflection of his potential. He saw it as a challenge to overcome. That's the power of a growth mindset. If you want to achieve your dreams, start by cultivating a growth mindset. Believe that you can improve, that you can learn, and that you can grow. Embrace challenges, learn from criticism, and persist in the face of setbacks. With a growth mindset, there's no limit to what you can achieve. Leveraging your strengths. While it's important to acknowledge and work on your weaknesses, there's another key to achieving your dreams that's often overlooked, leveraging your strengths. Everyone has unique talents, skills, uh, and abilities that set them apart. The secret to success lies in recognizing these strengths and using them to your advantage. Think about a professional athlete. They spend countless hours honing their craft, focusing on the skills that make them exceptional. They don't waste time trying to excel at everything. Instead, they concentrate on what they do best by leveraging their natural talents. They maximize their potential and achieve greatness. The same principle applies to you. Take the time to identify your strengths. What are you naturally good at? What skills have you developed over time? What activities energize and inspire you? Once you've identified these strengths, find ways to incorporate them into your pursuit of your dreams. Whether it's in your career, your personal life, or your relationships, leveraging your strengths will give you a competitive edge and propel you towards success. Remember, success is not about being good at everything, it's about being exceptional at a few things. Focus on your strengths and let them guide you to your dreams. The role of passion in achieving dreams. Passion is the fuel that drives perseverance. When you're passionate about something, you're willing to go the extra mile to overcome obstacles and to keep going despite difficulties. Passion is what keeps you motivated even when the path is challenging. Consider the story of Steve Jobs, the co-founder of Apple. Jobs faced numerous challenges throughout his career, including being ousted from the company he helped create, but his passion for innovation and design never wavered. It was this passion that drove him to return to Apple, lead the development of groundbreaking products like the iPhone and ultimately change the world. Passion is what kept him going, even in the face of adversity. To achieve your dreams, find what you're passionate about. Passion gives you the energy, the drive, and the determination to keep pushing forward. It makes the hard work feel worthwhile and it gives you the resilience to bounce back from setbacks without passion. Even the most ambitious dreams can feel like a burden, but with passion, anything is possible. Building resilience. In the pursuit of your dreams, one of the most important qualities you can develop is resilience. Resilience is the ability to bounce back from setbacks, to keep going when the going gets tough, and to maintain your focus and determination even in the face of adversity. Think about the journey of J.K. Rowling, the author of the Harry Potter series. Before she became one of the most successful authors in the world, she faced numerous rejections from publishers. Her manuscript was turned down multiple times, and she struggled with personal challenges as well, but she didn't give up. She kept writing, kept submitting her work, and eventually her persistence paid off. Her resilience allowed her to turn her dream into a reality. Resilience is not something you're born with. It's something you develop over time. It's built through experience, through facing challenges, and through overcoming obstacles to build resilience, cultivate a positive attitude, learn from your failures, and stay focused on your long-term goals. When you're resilient, setbacks become stepping stones and challenges become opportunities for growth. Remember, the road to your dreams will not always be smooth. There will be bumps, detours, and obstacles along the way. 
But if you're resilient, you'll be able to navigate those challenges and keep moving forward towards your dreams. The impact of giving back. Success is not just about achieving your own dreams, it's also about making a positive impact on others. One of the most fulfilling aspects of success is the ability to give back, to help others achieve their dreams, and to make a difference in the world. Consider the story of Andrew Carnegie, one of the wealthiest men in history, after achieving immense success in the steel industry. Carnegie dedicated much of his later life to philanthropy. He believed that the wealthy had a responsibility to use their resources to improve society. He funded the creation of libraries, universities, and cultural institutions, leaving a legacy that continues to benefit people to this day. Giving back doesn't just enrich the lives of others, it also adds meaning and purpose to your own life. It reminds you that your success is not just about personal achievement, but about contributing to the greater good, whether it's through volunteering, mentoring, donating, or simply helping those in need. Giving back allows you to use your success to make a positive impact. So as you pursue your dreams, remember the importance of giving back. Success is not just about what you achieve for yourself, it's about what you contribute to the world. Find ways to use your talents, resources, and influence to make a difference. When you give back, you not only enrich the lives of others, but also create a legacy that extends far beyond your personal achievements, harnessing the power of visualization. Visualization is a powerful tool that can help you turn your dreams into reality. By vividly imagining your success, you create a mental roadmap that guides your actions and decisions. Visualization allows you to see your dreams as if they've already been achieved, making them feel more real and attainable. Consider the story of Muhammad Ali, one of the greatest boxers of all time. Ali was known for his confidence and his ability to predict his victories. But what many people don't know is that he used visualization as a key part of his training. He would mentally rehearse his fights, seeing himself landing punches, dodging blows, and ultimately winning the match. This mental practice helped him build the confidence and focus he needed to perform at his best. Visualization is not just about wishful thinking, it's about mentally preparing yourself for success. When you visualize your goals, you're training your mind to recognize opportunities to stay focused and to take the necessary steps to achieve them. Visualization helps you build the belief that your dreams are within reach and it motivates you to take action. To harness the power of visualization, take time each day to imagine yourself achieving your goals. Picture yourself overcoming obstacles, reaching milestones, and ultimately achieving your dream. The more vividly you can see it, the more likely you are to make it a reality. Creating a vision board. A vision board is a tangible representation of your dreams and goals. It's a visual tool that helps you stay focused, motivated, and inspired as you work toward achieving your dreams. By collecting images, quotes, and symbols that represent what you want to achieve. You create a daily reminder of your aspirations. Think of a vision board as a map to your dreams. Just like a map guides you to your destination, a vision board guides you to your goals. It keeps your dreams front and center, reminding you of what you're working toward and why it's important. Creating a vision board is a simple yet powerful exercise. Start by gathering images, words, and symbols that resonate with your goals. These could be pictures of your dream home, inspiring quotes, images of people who inspire you, or anything else that represents what you want to achieve. Arrange these elements on a board or in a digital format and place it somewhere you'll see it daily. Each time you look at your vision board, you reinforce your commitment to your goals. It serves as a source of motivation, helping you stay focused and driven, even when challenges arise. A vision board is not just a collection of images. It's a tool for manifesting your dreams and turning your goals into reality. Celebrating small wins, as you work toward your dreams, it's important to remember that success is not just about reaching the final destination, it's also about enjoying the journey. One way to do this is by celebrating small wins along the way. Each small victory is a step closer to your larger dream, and it deserves recognition. Consider the story of Sir Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Norgay, the first climbers to reach the summit of Mount Everest. Their journey was filled with countless small victories from successfully navigating treacherous terrain to overcoming the challenges of altitude. Each small win brought them closer to their ultimate goal. By celebrating these victories, they maintained their morale and motivation, which was crucial for their success. Celebrating small wins is not just about patting yourself on the back, it's about building momentum. Each celebration reinforces your progress, boosts your confidence, and keeps you motivated to keep going. It reminds you that you're making progress, even when the ultimate goal still seems far away. So as you pursue your dreams, take time to acknowledge and celebrate your small wins. 
whether it's completing a challenging task, reaching a milestone, or simply taking a step in the right direction. Each small win is a victory worth celebrating. These moments of recognition will fuel your motivation, keep you focused, and help you enjoy the journey as you work toward your dreams.